It's week 53 of Zer, so we're going to find out his location, what he has this week, as well as give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 53 of Zur, and Zur is actually located in the EDZ, in the Winding Cove, right here. Zur! What's up dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. Weapon of the week is the Sunshot. Then we have the Eye of Another World for the Warlock. A Graviton Lance for the Hunter. And then last but not least, Worm God's Caress for the Titan. And we're going to go ahead and start with the Eye of Another World. And trying to perk on this is Cerebral Uplink, which marks priority targets and buffs ability regen. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, Bow Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Shotgun Reserves, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. So, with this said... I have another world is probably going to get a tier 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. It's okay, but it is not top tier. Next exotic is the Graviton Forfeit, which uh, gives you the intrinsic perk of Vanishing Shadow that improves invisibility. So it pretty much just makes you invisible a lot longer. And this comes with Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, Bow Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On. Shotgun Reserves, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, this is definitely good in PvE, not so good in PvP, so I'm probably going to rate this probably a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE, but probably a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP. Next is the Worm God's Caress, and trying to perk on this is Burning Fists, which melee kills increase melee damage. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, uh, Shotgun Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, this is probably a little bit better in PvE than PvP, so I'm probably going to give this maybe a tier 2.5 in PvE, and probably a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP. Next, we have your Consumables, which is your Five of Swords. And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram. Now, real quick, just so you guys know, Zer will not be selling Forsaken Exotics at all for a while. That's not to say he's not going to sell Forsaken Exotics ever, but within the next coming weeks, probably a month or two, Zer will only be selling Season 3 and before Exotics. He will not be selling any type of Season 4. And that includes the Faded Engram. So if you're going to buy a Faded Engram, Make sure that you want whatever he has for Season 3 and prior, because you will not get anything for Season 4 at this moment. Also, before I forget, the raid in the Dreaming City is now live as of today, so you guys can go ahead and go into the raid, six-man team. I definitely would recommend that. Also, what is recommended is a power level of 550. Uh, yeah, good luck getting there. At the moment, I am only a 534, however, myself and my clan will be attempting this regardless, um, because recommended is 550, that doesn't mean you have to be 550. Um, but, even if we don't get it this week, then, hey, we can try it next week as well. And now, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.